Um, I'm a senior here at MSU studying advertising management, but what I'm going to go over here today is the internship opportunity that I've actually been a part of for four years now. And really, I believe it is one of the top internship programs that MSU, U of M, you know, the schools here in Michigan has to offer. We're really going to break it down here into three main points. Uh, so the first off is young entrepreneurs, and what it has to offer is one, the experience that you can get in the field here, two, the support that it offers to all the individuals that come through the program, and then three, what comes after the program, and basically how you get headhunted by top tier uh, different companies that will come up to you that really just want you in their position now based on after being part of this program. So first starting off with uh, the experience. So we're gonna go into the sales. So you actually do perform your own sales within this company. Um, so this is actually me here when I was back as a professional when I joined the company. And this is actually the first homeowner that I sold with uh, within the business that I was running there through Young Entrepreneurs. And uh, you're actually making real life sales, you know, 40 to 50 minute uh, presentations to these homeowners to ensure, you know, you're getting the right customer satisfaction, setting the right expectations up, and then three, the way you're gonna complete the job as well. So you are actually in the field doing your own sales. Through the uh, four years I've been there now, I've actually sold over $1.3 million in revenue. So you are actually dealing with real life money. So first off is the sales. Uh, these are actually the stats from all our interns here. So about our 50th percentile, so about $60,000 in the summer. Um, top 5% are sell about 100,000. Uh, my first year I was actually, I won manager of the year, I had 134,000 that year. So it was a really successful summer and you know, it's not the regular, that's out of the ordinary. I would say, uh, but usually right here is where we see most of our interns fall into when they come through this program. Management is the next type of experience. So I actually had to go out and recruit my own team that was gonna work underneath me where I actually had to manage them um, while I was out you know, doing the marketing and the, the sales, but they were actually the ones that were actually producing the work that I was selling. Um, and through doing over $100,000 of business, I actually set up with my team where I was gonna take them out to a five-star restaurant dinner for all the work they did for me through the summer. It's actually the team that I had hired in my first year as a branch manager. And then next to the customers. Uh, so you actually do deal with the customers, you know, customer compliance, make sure the customer service is high. This is a, one of my last customers I had done, and um, I did exterior painting as my business model here, and this is him checking it out, so you know, he was ensuring the job as well, but always making sure you know the customers are satisfied. Next we're gonna jump into the company support. Uh, so you actually get assigned a mentor. So that's someone that has actually gone through this program that has come back now for a second year. And basically what that is is a partnership between you and them where they're gonna give you the exact blueprint on how to run this business successfully. Two, you get a full-time office staff that is gonna take care, basically all the back-end stuff that business owners don't really like to deal with, uh, from all the paperwork, legal stuff, and, and et cetera, in that, in that regards. And then jumping into legal, so you, they actually, the company will pay for all the OSHA regulations EPA regulations, and you have a hundred million or a million dollars in liability insurance that is covered from the company. So it takes all the risk off of you as an intern and puts it back onto the parent company there. And then once you graduate the program, you actually get access to our alumni network. And I think this is one of the greatest things we have. Um, right here, his name's Logan Lemans. He was with us about three years ago, and he was the third intern that's come through this program that went into Shark Tank. He actually uh, made a deal with Mark Cuban on his business called Kanga. Uh, it's actually a beer koozie case, so you take a whole beer and put it in there, a whole you know, 12 rack of it. Um, so he was the third one on it, but you do get access to our alumni network. Also another example is Andrew Dennison. He was the manager, he was from U of M, graduated this program about five years ago, created a company called Uplift, and then through the venture capitalists that went through it, within three years he actually sold that company for $2.1 million. Next to the story you can tell, so with any interview you're going into, um, being able to tell them at 18 to 22 years old that you actually went out there and launched your own business, generated your own leads, created your own marketing team, went out there, performed your own sales, and had a whole production team in line while doing all the payroll processing as well. When you can tell that story in finite detail, that's gonna outweigh the, the majority of any type of story that a college student would go through. And then lastly here uh, is, is you just get headhunted by these top uh, companies here. So we have a lot of C-suite executives that have come from this company that as soon as you graduate from this business or from this internship, you get headhunted by these businesses. Uh, so Google, Paul Butcher, he's actually one of the top recruiters there. Uh, through Google, he came from this company. Procter & Gamble, we have about four or five people there that have come from this program that are now in the recruiting realm of that, that are really looking for anyone that comes from this program. And then lastly, of course, young entrepreneurs, if you do well enough, you actually could get an opportunity to have a full-time position there with that company and take on a new GM role. 
Overall though, uh, you know, the type of people that we're looking for within this type of business and in that type of internship is ones that are, you know, going out there and gonna have that self-discipline to go start their own business and really take that step forward. That wants something a little bit ex extraordinary. Uh, thank you for listening. Any questions or anything like that before I wrap up? Yeah. What's the internships like called? Young Entrepreneurs, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, so it's called Young Entrepreneurs Across America. So, MSU has the program. Yeah, so MS is so their main campuses are MSU, U of M, Western Michigan, and Grand Valley. Okay. Yeah. And that's what the source is. So is that a company? Yeah, so Young Entrepreneurs is like the internship company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.